Michael Maverick, Kiesa 31, caught at the taller man by an inch. You see Kiesa making weight for this, his UFC welterweight debut. Both fighters with a reach of 75 and a half inches. All right, now for the particulars, back inside of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 170 and 1 half pounds. Fighting at the Spokane Valley, Washington, presenting the Ultimate Fighter Season 15 winner and the number 9 ranked lightweight contender in the world, Michael Maverick Kiesa! corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 30 wins, 12 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the former WEC welterweight champion and the former interim UFC welterweight champion, the natural born killer, Carlos Carlos. Is in the black trunks. Kiesa is in green. Kiesa looking for the clinch here. He looks absolutely enormous. And they're forcing him to use his jiu-jitsu. Will Kiesa be able to do trip? Because Kanda is very threatening on his back, but he hasn't shown the same threats as the past. And is that because of the progression of the game? That's the question. We'll I think find it was out. the quality of the on the ground that Michael Chiesa does. And you see that he just avoids that and immediately goes to the back. And that's what I'm saying. Yes. Has the sport just progressed this much that these transitions are different now for Connor? But he's looking for a leg lock here. Kiesa's is going to spin out. He does, but Connor nice. gets on top. Nicely done by Condit. And then it off of you. And Condit needs to dig for underhooks here and create some space. Otherwise, he's going to stay here the whole match. Another takedown for Michael Chiesa. Yeah, I would imagine this is not Carlos Condit's game plan coming into this fight. I would imagine class, and you see their, their real true potential. Nice. Yes. Beautiful. The timing of it was perfect. That looks pretty good. Let's see if he can go under through the other side because he might want to twist through, take his head to the other ankle of Chiesa. Oh, he's got it. He's in. He's in. on that attempt in the first one. Another takedown by Kiesa. And this has been the issue for Kanda is the lack of wrestling. Not the jiu-jitsu, but the yes. wrestling. He gets held on his back and then gets stuck searching for submissions. And if he that, he's got to roll. He's got to try to keep rolling, but Kiesa's trying to take his back. Good scramble by Carlos Kanda. He's attacking a leg. He doesn't quite have the heel, but he's looking for it. Oh, oh wait a minute. This is not good for Kiesa. But he's doing a great job of rolling out of it. He's safe now. And this honestly shows you how it goes. lines up on top. Look for the first triangle here. Look at this. He's in this fight. Yeah, I didn't see him breaking. Not at all. I, I saw some awesome grappling exchanges. Definitely. Look at Kiesa moving forward, though. Excellent punches by Kiesa. The kicks are going to be fine if Kanda can throw him. But he's not getting the opportunity because Kiesa's just on him in the grappling. Yeah, and Kiesa's so odd with his that teeth kick up the middle to keep space. However, that's a perfect segue for a takedown. And that's what happened there. Kiesa's going to lock up a Kimura here, folks. This is not good. This is not good. This is very bad. That's it. That's it. This is very, very bad on the shoulder. Well, he doesn't have any by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. So there was the front kick, there's the clinch, gets him down easily to the ground. Now, look at this, when he ties up this Kimura and he spins it around behind his back, man, this is nasty right here. This is tremendous pressure on his shoulder, but look, look, he he extends it behind him and uses his, his left lat to yep. push down and put all that pressure on the shoulder. Yeah, see how he holds the hip, mm -hmm. he's pushing the hip, yeah. so he can't correct himself with that, his hip position. That is nasty. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mike Viltron has called a stop to this contest at 56 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a Kimura, Michael Maverick Kiesa!